Today I am going to make a ribbon doll. Now I think I found this on Pinterest. I think that's where I got it from. So um, anyway, I found this really cool Marie Antoinette cutout and I will post where I got it from at the bottom of this video. But just keep in mind that this may be something that is copyrighted. So you may want to just use it for your personal use probably and, and maybe not put it in something you're going to sell. But personal use, I'm, I feel sure it's probably fine. Um, but anyway, I have cut out <clears throat> this this doll. It's a Marie Antoinette doll. Like I said, I've got I've got her legs. They're all over the place. And uh, need a hand. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> got her arms. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put her on a little bit. I printed her out on cardstock. And I'm going to put her on a little bit sturdier um, paper. And this is just like a, I think it's a, yeah, it's a little Debbie oatmeal cream pie um, box. And you know, you, you guys, I, I do so much for you. I really do. I, I eat these oatmeal cream pies just so that you can watch me put together something for crafting. Yeah. I'm blaming you for that 20 extra pounds that I gained just doing this craft. I'm kidding. Anyway, so. Let's get going here. Let's do, uh, do the gluing and the cutting out and the things. Now for this you're going to need you're going to need a cutout of a paper doll of some sort. Um, I put it on sturdy paper. Um, I've got some little bling here, some bling here, and I've got some ribbon that I've cut out. So all kinds of ribbon. And, uh, and then I sanded the little Debbie box before you know I'm going to do the gluing because Otherwise, it, the glue would not adhere to the box. So I've done that already. So you wouldn't have to li listen to the screech, you know, when I'm trying to sand this box. So anyway, just gluing the doll down. And um, I forgot to mention, you're also going to need some brads. And God help me, I don't know where they are on my desk. Oh, there they are. Okay, good. <laughs> that... It's always an adventure. Yes, it's like treasure hunt. I've got treasure on my desk that I don't even know are there. Just hidden treasure, always. Yeah, I keep hoping maybe one day Johnny Depp will show up in his pirate costume and, you know, help me look for treasure on my desk, but so far that hasn't happened. Alright, so one leg. And two legs. I know, it's exciting watching me glue things, isn't it? Yay, gluing! Woohoo! It's a glue fest! I might be able to get them all on one piece of cardboard. That would be great. <clears throat> I know you're shocked that I'm not using a beer box today. I, I apologize for that. You know, I know I'm letting you guys down. My husband's just going to have to drink beer and he's going to have to drink it faster because, uh, yeah, I don't have a beer box to use right now. I'm so disappointed. I make him sound like an alcoholic. I promise he's not. He just, he just enjoys his, his glass of beer. Okay, so I'm through doing that. Let's cut this out really quickly, or at least I hope we'll cut it out really quickly. <clears throat> oh, goody. I'm cutting out two pieces with one. That's, that's just the way I roll. Dooby dooby doo. So, anyway, let me think of something we can talk about. The weather. The weather's always nice. Um, it is hot. I walked out to the mailbox today and uh, put some mail in the mailbox, obviously. I, I didn't like leave a pizza in there or anything, just mail. And uh, it was just, it was hot just a couple minutes. I was walking to the mailbox. I was just like, good grief. I am so not ready for the summer. Not at all. Alright. Can't leave it alone. It has to be perfect. I probably should have already cut these pieces out so you wouldn't have to sit here and watch me, but 
Oh, what fun would that be? I love spending time with you guys. You guys make me happy. <sighs> Boy. Anyway, I've made a couple of these little dolls so far, and I really like them. I think they're, they're really adorable. Um, what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to um, make it... I think I'm going to make it a magnet to go in my fridge. I'm not sure. I might have another purpose for it. I'm thinking about it anyway. Um, but anyway, it's really, it's just really adorable, and it's a good way to use up scraps. Like, you know, I have ribbon scraps over here, but truly, you can use paper scraps if you wanted. You know, if you cut out some strips of, um, you know, whatever scrapbook paper you have, that would be really pretty. And, you know, it would just be really adorable to send in happy mail or anything like that. So you don't have to use, you know, ribbon. Honest, you don't. Shoes with what you got. I'm sure you can come up with one better too. All kind of neat ideas. You could probably use yarn even. That would be pretty. I even have, I think I've got a little eyelash trim. I thought that would be kind of pretty. I think it's down here. Some eyelash trim. I thought that would be pretty on her hat. So, I'm going to make her a hat. Because she's Melly. She deserves something pretty. So, <clears throat> anyway. I talked to my, one of my daughters yesterday for a little while. She lives in Michigan. You might have heard me talk about her, Marie. She's doing pretty well. They're going, uh, <clears throat> her and her fiance are going camping in the UP, Upper Peninsula of Michigan. So she's all excited about that. I've heard it's beautiful. I went to visit uh, right before Christmas and got to see Lake Huron. And I'm telling you, Lake Huron was absolutely beautiful. I've never seen anything so pretty. It, it just, the, <clears throat> the lake was just like gray glass. It was just silvery gray pretty. It was just beautiful. I could have sat out there and just meditated for hours. It's just one of those places that makes you feel just really, you know, nature in awe of nature. It's just, just a beautiful place to be. So she's trying to talk me into going back up there. I'd, I'd like to be to be able to go back up there. I just don't know when I'm going to be able to have a chance to go. But um, hopefully, hopefully soon. Okay, so I've got all these <clears throat> pieces cut out. I hope you can see. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to punch some holes with my crop of delicious hole punching thingy. And let's try to make sure I have the right arms where they go. <clears throat> I don't want her to be, you know, struggling the first day. She's out trying to run her kingdom, <clears throat> rule her kingdom, you know, with wonky arms. So, let's see. This is a bit awkward, so bear with me just a sec. Alright, let's do her legs. Do I have them right? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Poor ovary. Monkey legs. Okay. So now I'm going to put on my box of brads. <clears throat> And I'm still working on cleaning up my craft room. I have, it seems like I get it cleaned up, and then I mess it up again. Does anybody else see that? Do you, do you get busy, like, cleaning up your craft room, and then all of a sudden you go, ooh, that would be pretty with that. Ooh, let's try this really quick. Oh, I forgot to have that. And then by the time you're done, you have created another mess. So that's pretty much what's been going on with me for the past two days. So I can't seem to get it clean. Maybe I should just give it up. Just give up and let it let it be. Just let it be. Let it be. You knew I was going there, didn't you? <clears throat> Alright, so Marie has her. Now, we have an articulated doll. Wee! Look what I can do! Woo! Look what I can do! Okay, so we have that done. So now is the fun part. 
Now we get to put her ribbons and bows and stuff on. So I have like this pretty paper that um, one of my friends sent me. And I think what I'm going to do is create like a little skirt to put you know, kind of behind the ribbon. So I'm just going to cut it out in like a little skirt type of pattern. Nothing fancy. You, know, you don't have to try that hard. It doesn't have to fit all the way across. It's just we're just creating like a little a little something to go behind her ribbons and bows. Alright, and now the gluing. Let the gluing begin. Can you guys see? just putting some glue all over this paper. This is kind of neat. I don't know what kind of paper it is. It's like a fiber type of paper. And I think my friend Sue sent me this. Sue comes up with the neatest stuff. I, I am very fortunate in my friends. They have the coolest things and they send it to me and I just love it. I have this piece that I know Sue sent me so I'm going to cut it in a strip. I think that's really pretty. I'm going to add that. Maybe call this my friendship, my friendship uh, doll. It's, most of the things on here are things that, that people have sent me. The little scraps that I have are um, pieces of fabric that my friend uh, Doreen sent me, and Sue and Tina and um, Donna, just all kinds of pretty things. And I, I just love my friends. They're just wonderful people. They really are. They keep me going. They really do. Very fortunate indeed. Hopefully this glue will keep it on here. I don't have any Fabri-Tac. I need to get some, I guess. It's just not something I'll have. I used to be able to find uh, Beacon glue at the dollar store, but the last few times I've gone, they haven't had any. So I don't know what's going on with that, but they have let me down, dollar store. Because that stuff was wonderful. It was like 3-in-1 um, or Fabri-Tac. And it would really um, work well with fabric and you know, difficult things to glue. So um, here lately I've been using like the, I think I've been looking at the E6000 glue. <laughs> That's all i got. So you know, I've been using the heavy duty, you know, not coming off no matter what you do glue. To adhere some of the stuff. So, I'll definitely need to get break down and buy some Fabri Tac. So, you see what I'm doing? I'm just kind of arranging these ribbons, you see, on her dress. Just, just arranging it. And let's see what other. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's put, put some of this on her. Just, um, all I'm doing is I'm like kind of curving the top a little bit of the, you know, taking the ribbon and curving it so it will look more natural, I guess, at the top of her waist. Oh, I might put another piece of, ooh, yeah, I think I might put another piece of that on the other side so it looks like, I don't know, it looks like it goes together. You know, like those brocaded gowns of yore, you know, like Queen Elizabeth used to wear. Stuff like that, that would be pretty. Let's see if I can do that. Ooh, I like that a lot. It's pretty. I just hope this glue works. If not, I'll have to come up with a plan B. That's what crafting is. Lots of plan B's, very few plan A's. See, doesn't want to stick. So, yeah, let's do let's do the plan B. And what do you know? The Got the top off on the first try. Brilliant. This is E6000, and it's probably a little expensive to use for something like this, but hey. Such as it is. It's just, just the way it is today. Alright, let me put one more here. This, has, this ribbon has a little bit of wire in it too, which is good. 
wire. Um, and some purple in there. Why not? Why not? Probably going to have to pause it and then come back when it's dry, <clears throat> but it's okay. Ooh, I'm losing the glue over here. All right, so now I'm going to look at my bling over here and see what we what we have to play with. And I've got a couple little bits and bobs. I might use the the white ones though. I don't know. Yeah, oops, let's just spill them everywhere. Let's just randomly glue, why don't we? Alright, so pick some little pieces. I'm not going to waste this glue. I'm going to try to grab some of that. Of course, I know you guys are screaming at me, just put the lid on! Yes, I know. I probably should. I should put the lid on. Call me Sticky Fingers. Sticky Fingers McGee. I'll be sparkly for days. I <laughs> can't get off my fingers. It doesn't matter. It's just glue. Towel would be good though. Alright, so I've got that adhered. Fancy word, adhered. So let's do her. I'm going to let that sit for a minute just so it can do its thing. But while we're waiting, let's do her hat. So I've got some of this eyelash trim. I really like the eyelash trim. I think I have another piece of it somewhere over here. What do I do with this eyelash trim? So I have two of those. So let's make her some hair, some, a hat for her hair. Do, do, do. And it doesn't have to be fancy. It really doesn't. Although I think somewhere on my desk have a little tiny piece of wire, so I'm going to use a little tiny piece of wire. You didn't see me cut this with my good scissors. I didn't do that. It was your imagination. You didn't see it at all. Didn't cut it with my good scissors. I just want to keep this together while it's gluing. Alright, so got that. So I'm going to glue that on now. And you're not coming off. I don't care what you say. It ain't happening. Alright, so there's her lovely little hat. Now, I feel like she needs something around her shoulders. Because she just looks cold to me. And she probably needs like a bodice of some sort. Let's give her a sparkly bodice. Why not? doesn't want to come out. It's stuck to my fingers and everything over here. And so that's kind of pretty. And then I could, I guess, put <clears throat> a little piece of wing on her these things. Brad's because it's just kind of in your face, isn't it? So, get 
two are the same size, hopefully. And of course, it's not the same size. Back. Back, I say. Okay. Okay. Now, what else does she need? Oh, you know what? She needs a hanky. Yes, every lady needs a hanky. And I just happen to have an old piece of curtain over here. Just an old piece of curtain. Nothing, nothing exciting. So let's put this, let's glue this behind her hand. Let's give her a hanky. Because how are the gentlemen supposed to pick up the hanky if she doesn't have one, right? I'm going to put a piece of the, a little bit of the good glue, because I don't think this is going to stick with a doodle. You can see what I'm doing, because I'm dropping stuff everywhere. Alright, and let's see, she's got a hanky now, so let's, um, let me see what i got over here. I think I have a few little bits of dried flowers in here somewhere. So there's one. Here's two. Um, find one more. Or just make a mess, which I'm good at doing. Um, come on. Give me a little flower. I'm sure I'll find one eventually. Or not. Okay, well made a mess for no particular reason. I found these, oops, getting them on the floor now. I found these buttons at Goodwill for like three bucks. <laughs> I was ecstatic. It made my day. I was just, I love buttons. Ever since I was a little girl, I love buttons. I have, um, I remember my former mother-in-law used to have um, a antique tin full of buttons and I used to just sit there and look through them because I just thought they were so pretty. I would love to see those again. Um, okay, so she's got two little flowers. So let me see if I can cut out a little piece of cardboard. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these little flowers onto this little tiny piece of cardboard. With the E6000s, so these babies aren't going anywhere. No ma'am, not today. Not today.